I'm testing. Can you hear me? Can you see me well? Can you hear my voice well? Am I looking good? Not too sure about that. This will be my first YouTube video. Maybe my last YouTube video. We'll see about that. Alright, I got this. Okay. <clears throat> it's so awkward to talk on camera. Hey guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is going to be my first video ever on my YouTube channel. Okay, um, so today we are going to be doing my catfish makeup that surprises everyone. Every time I show someone that I know my Instagram, they're like, this you? Am I looking at the right person? So like, I'm going to do that makeup and show y'all how to catfish like me on the internet and make men mad. So let's get started. Well, first I'm gonna put on contacts because as you can see, I'm almost legally blind. They're like purple. Purple is my favorite color. If you guys didn't know, I'll put these on and I'll be right back. Now contacts are on and we're gonna get started on my makeup. I actually first start with sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that my sister recommended me. It's kind of dirty. Um, I think there's a mineral sunscreen of this version, and I like both of them, but the mineral one is like kind of dry. <laughs> Shit. It's okay, guys. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. It's kind of messy. I'm gonna blend this sunscreen out, although I'm not going out today. I'm literally just doing this makeup. Just to film this video. You're welcome. Did I put too much? I don't know, guys. Shit, I have to get my bangs out of the way. I hate my sister for gatekeeping me this sunscreen for the longest time. And then when we went to Korea, like, a few days ago, like, she was like, Oh my, this sunscreen is so good. She never told me about it. I do really want to try the viral Chilton sunscreen. I look okay. I think I do look okay. So, ooh. Jesus Christ. Ah! Ooh, I hate the sticky feeling of sunscreen on my hands. I think foundation is pretty heavy for me. I never use like a good foundation, but for me at least, I like to use these like dark circle eraser concealers, whatever. I have shade 130 and 122. It depends on my mood, which one I want to use, so. I'm gonna use 122 for my dark circle. Ooh, that is a lot. Probably concealer is heavier than foundation. This is a lot. I actually don't really put on this much. <laughs> okay, let me use a makeup sponge. How cute this is. I'm gonna use fixing spray, setting spray, whatever it is. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna now use this to blend all of this up so i actually put on contacts like after i finish all my makeup but i'm so blind so when i actually do makeup without my glasses on i have to like be close like up this close on the mirror but then you guys can't see how i do my makeup i hate when eyeshadows fall into my eyes while wearing contacts because they hurt like shit. also i'm still struggling with jet lag today's wednesday august 17th i came back to america on sunday and my jet lag has been so bad. Like, I tried to fall asleep at like 11 p.m. yesterday. I ended up falling asleep at like 4 a.m. I wasn't even on my phone. I was really like laying on bed like a mummy. And I was just praying for me, like the sleep demon to like just come for me and just like make me fall asleep. But it did not work. Okay. It's getting hot in here. Probably because of the lighting. It's hot. So I'm gonna put a claw clip on my hair so it doesn't leave a mark on my hair. Yeah, that's better. Oh my god, it's getting way too hot. Uh, before moving on to powder, I like to put like a layer of setting spray just to make my makeup last longer. Oh. Jesus Christ, that was a lot. <coughs> now we're gonna move on to powder. I've been using this powder for the longest time, but I bought this one recently and I really wanted to try this one, but I hate opening a new one or actually like finishing this one. So I'm gonna use this one. 
So I always use this thing, but when I see like beauty vloggers, they always use like a brush. So me wanting to be the professional makeup artist, I wash this brush. I bought it at Daiso in Korea like two years ago-ish. I'm just gonna like wipe this off and close this and like tap it. Oh, there's no... Should I shake it like that? Ooh. Hey. Hey. Okay, okay. Is this isn't getting there. I can't even see what's going on. Okay. I got it on my forehead. Excellent. Ooh, I'm gonna close my eyes for this. Oh guys, I can't see what's going on because I'm closing my eyes. But I'm hoping that my face is looking blurred now. Oh, this is kind of spiky. I don't like this. Oh, my skin looks better though. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, okay, now I kind of get the reason why people use like brushes. But it's kind of spiky. I don't really like it. Like every time I attempt to make a video where I talk while I do my makeup, it just turns out cringy and I hate it. I just end up like doing a voiceover. Because I usually don't like showing my voice. Like one of my biggest insecurities is my voice. I don't know why. Like I don't think it's like the voice. But it's about how I speak English. It's like, there's like this, some sort of Korean accent that people point out. And I'm just like, oh, I guess I'll never be that perfect American. But it's okay, I guess. I might make a video of me just speaking Korean. One thing I missed about America is that they have AC. Oh my god. Korea, maybe it's just my house is old because it's my grandparents' house. But we don't have AC in the bathroom. I know that sounds weird, like why do you need an AC in the bathroom? But like imagine taking a like a cold shower after sweating for hours and after you get out of the shower you're just sweating again. And imagine when you're pooping, when you're shitting there. I shit for an abnormally long time. Like one time when I was shitting there for like literally 10 minutes, I came out of the bathroom like sweating like shit. I hate it. I hate it. Next gonna do my brows. It's too dark. I don't, I, th I don't I don't think they're symmetrical. You know what? I have pretty heavy bangs. No matter how much effort I put into my eyebrows, they get hidden. So I don't really like putting that much time on my eyebrows. After I do my brows, I'm gonna work on my contour. This is my contour palette. Pretty dirty. The thing about Korean contour palettes, they're always like really dark. Like this is my skin tone. Like, but this is a contour shade for Koreans because they're like so pale. I'm gonna like mix both of these shades and Contour like my cheekbones and my jaw. I don't know how to properly contour, guys. I just like watch a bunch of makeup videos and I'm just like, okay, they just put it on my cheek. They just put it on their cheekbones and they just put it on their chin. So I'm just like, okay, I'll do that too. I don't really know how to actually contour. Does it even make a difference? Bless you. Bless you. And I have really bad bald spots up here. So I'm just gonna put contour over here. Moving on to nose contour. Y'all know how good of a nose catfish I am. My, okay, actually, I said my biggest insecurity was my voice, but like the facial insecurity for me is my nose. It's like kind of big. I want like a European button nose, but at the same time, I don't want to get plastic surgery because I don't want to look the same as everyone else. But anyways, I'm gonna use like this darker shade. Actually, I'm gonna mix these two. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go in this triangle zone. Okay. I'm gonna first go in with here. It's kind of dark. Okay, now that like this part is like snatched, we're gonna focus on the bottom part of the nose. Okay, I'm gonna use the darker shade. This, there's a reason why I use this one more. So this brush is kind of like loose, as you can see. And I hate that like it's really loose. I usually like to like pinch it like this and like draw the nose shape that I wanna have. Okay, I know, if you guys know me from TikTok, I had a really, really bad TikTok nose contour fade. I hope you guys don't remember that fade. If people would point it out, like, I feel like you would look better if you blend your nose contour, and then I just ignore it. Like, you guys are just being haters. Like, thank you for pointing it out. If I didn't know, I would have been looking, I would have been going around having a little exclamation point on my nose and just be like, I'm looking like the baddest ass. Okay, so, it looks weird. <laughs> Trust, trust the process guys. I'm not done. I think the most important part of contouring your nose is baking. This is, that's a really bright shade. I just use it because my mom gave it to me. I don't really like buying makeup myself with my own money. 
I use whatever my mom gives me. I'm done baking. And I'm gonna do my eye makeup while I bake. I'm gonna go wash my hands. My hands feel dirty. Okay, I'm gonna use this palette. I use this shade, mix it, and like use it as a base shade. I like to put on like under the eyes too. And then I'm gonna use Edit Color Eyes. I've been using these since, I don't know, seventh, sixth grade. This brush is like less loose, as you can see. This one's more of a loose brush. I use a looser brush for my like base eyeshadow. And when I wanna focus in like one area, it's more stiff. I like to mix these two colors. And then I'm gonna put it under my eyes and like around here and then around here. I'm gonna use that brush that I use for the base color to blend it up. And then I like to go in with the glitter shade. I love this shade. I'm gonna put it like in the middle of my eyelid. And like after I put it on the middle of my eyelid, I just kind of like blend it out to the side using my finger. Now I'm gonna use this, kind of mix with this. That looks pretty good to me right now. Let's contour my ego side first. I'm gonna use this contour palette that I used before I'm gonna use this shade again. This is like a really tiny, tiny brush that I use for my eyeliner and ego side. I'm gonna smile. I think it's better. Look, look at it. It makes a huge difference. I usually like to put heavy amount of glitter on my ego side, but I will work on that after I do my eyeliner. This is how it looks like. This is not like a typical pen type of eyeliner, so it might be hard to work on for beginners, but I found this more comfortable for me because I make like big eyeliner wings. Okay. I'm zoom in more so it doesn't focus on the mirror. even as possible on this side. awkward zone as you can see the brown shade is pretty bright like i really want like a black eyeshadow but i never find it so i'm gonna use like a more of a looser brush like this spread it out so it doesn't look too awkward i'm gonna work on my inner corner and i need like 100 percent of focus Do the same with the brown eyeshadow right here. You see the difference? The difference it makes? The key point to this inner corner is like to keep checking while you keep your eyes open because when my eyes are closed, they look really different. I actually like to drag out the eyeliner to like this midpoint in my eye. Ooh, this looks pretty nice. So let's work on some color. I'm gonna use a twire brush. I don't even know if that's in like English. It looks like this. Pretty small brush too, but this is like fatter than the other one. I bought this in Korea. I broke this so many times. I don't really think I could. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna use this all over my eyelid and my ego side. Literally so pretty. I'm gonna use this Roman glitter palette. This is pretty famous. I feel like everyone knows this. But okay, the only reason why I don't like to use this on my eyelid is like the glitters are pretty chalky. I'm gonna use purple because I just love purple so much. Was it too purple? I feel like my eyelid is like too orangey. Wow, they look nice. We should put on lashes now. I'm pretty much done with eye makeup. Oh, I didn't do my other lashes. Okay. I'll try my best to show you guys how I curl my underlash. Like shit. Oh, I'm tearing up. Ah! Okay. I'm being dramatic, guys. Oh, they hurt. Like shit. I know I said it doesn't hurt, but I haven't curled my underlashes in so long. Oh, oh my god, the glitter went to my eye. These lashes from Pink Sea. Wow. Oh, oh my god, this is my favorite thing. Oh, fuck. You got tissue. You get it? <laughs> Can I show you guys? I just crushed it. Oh, poor Spidey. Where is my lash glue? I forgot to put on mascara on my underlash. I hate getting mascara on my ego side, so I'm gonna try my best and focus as much as possible. Let's apply my falsies now. Okay, I got this. It's this Dior lash glue. Wow, look at that. Eyes over heaven. Look at that. I love this dramatic lash. I've been not filming. I forgot to. Oh. While I was. I, while I forgot to record, I brushed off all the powder that was on my face when I was baking, you know? And I put on blush. My favorite blush of all time. Yeah. I put it on like here, my nose, and my chin. You guys get the message. Okay, so I'm gonna use an high I'm gonna use a highlighter now. This is one of my favorite highlighters too. I'm gonna first use this crappy ass highlighter. But okay, I bought this in Daiso. This is not supposed to be used for highlighters. This is supposed to be like this. Like when you know, you know how like when your eyeshadow flakes off on your face and you just wanna like flake it off. But I did not feel like spending more than one dollar on a highlighter brush, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use this. Apply on my cheekbones. Mmm, like that. And then on my chin, like that. I'm gonna make the exclamation point. And I like to put it on my bra bone. Okay, time for lips. Let's go in with Superstay. This is from Maybelline. Superstay lip crayon. This is 20. Enjoy the view. I like to open line my lips. Oh shit. I feel like this is too orangey right okay, now. I'm gonna use this one. This is 16 lead the way. This is Romaine Zero Velvet Tint. This is 04 Burnt Heart. Why did my lip feel so crusty right now? I'm gonna use this Peripera 10 True Red Brick. This is more like a warmer tone, but it's like one of the darkest red shades that I own. It's like center on my lips to create that gradient effect. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like using like 10,000 products on my lips. Just understand. This is Bia. Last lipstick, 14. Okay. We'll top it off with like a the glossy kind of lip tint. I'm gonna use this 04 Vintage Ocean Romance Glossy Water Tint. I 
another one, I know. I don't know. Is this the lip combo that I was looking for? A good old hack. If you guys hate having lipstick stains on your straws and stuff, just get a Q-tip. You can just go around like that. So uh, this is the end to my makeup routine, I think. I'll be right back with my hair done and my outfit on. Two hours later. So I hope this was a successful first YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I appreciate every single one of you guys who stayed until this long for my boring ass makeup tutorial, okay? If you guys are feeling generous, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Um, if you guys don't want to, then okay. Bye. Love y'all.